Hey, ho, it's Georgia and Arthur. Everybody say hello. Hello, it's Georgia and Arthur with his new wife called Chloe Braku. With a thirst galore, with a terrible fall, just you wait to see. It's Georgia and Arthur. Georgia and Arthur. Our story begins in a little town called Yeovil, the heart of a country, the mind of a city as of its very own, because it's most famous for having great buildings like the Premier Inn, which is just next door to Beef Eaters, but where George Buxton goes out for lunch, sometime on a Wednesday, and other lunch outs as well. And plus, there is another hotel which is called the Mermaid Hotel. Hotel, which is just near Mortimer's and the Barber Shack, and there's a great place for George Buxton where he has been over the years was CEX, where he sometimes sells some games with. And finally, there is a famous place that George is most famous for, Lufton College, for where all students who have um, learning difficulties go there to get some more education for themselves and to gain independence, like George did. Now, this, however, is the young man of George here. Say hello, George. Hello, everybody. Hello. And see, there he is. He's just tying up his bed so he can move on to the next Christmas day. And then, however, there's George's best friend, Arthur, who is having a little nap at the moment. Oh, and then, we say hello to you viewers. Hello. See? He is a young, enthusiastic bear, unlike his granddad. Now, the granddad, however, oh, the granddad's name was No Hair Bear, and guess what he likes? Sugar Free Toffee! Yep, you guessed it, he loves sugar free toffees. As you may remember, from a price clip uh, from the beginning in the film. Do you know? Well, do you? No, 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 I don't want to see that again. Hey. Anyway, uh, let's get back to the film. Now, there's George Buxton packing up a few stuff with food, sweet, clothes, PJs, etc, etc, everything. Right, okay then, viewers. Right, I packed all this stuff and it's just full of clothes, ready um, for the next couple of nights because I'm going to be moving from this river road to my old house again. Hmm, and I wonder if Arthur can help. Hey, Arthur! Arthur! Where are you? Hey, we're in a movie! Oh, very good! Movie! <laughs> hello, George! Oh, hello, Arthur. Uh, guess what we're doing today? Well, we're just packing our stuff so that we can move to my old house just for a couple of days. <gasps> Somebody can see your house? Yeah, I believe you do. And that's when we can do it on Boxing Day. Mm. So, anyway, uh, do you want me to help you uh, pack a few things? Well, see that you're very young and enthusiastic anyway. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, ah, Barbara! Woohoo! Uh, where should we start with first? Well, first of all, Arthur, well, we need to pack those pillows into the bag here. Oh, alright. Yeah, I'm very good at pillows. Alright, George. Yeah, let's go then. <laughs> hey, wait for me, Arthur. Wait for me. <laughs> alright then, Arthur. Now, see that we're going to be doing the packing now, so that we can move to River Road. Ooh. Uh, that comes tomorrow, innit? Yeah, that's right. So that's why we need to get on with the packing right now. Alright then. Oh, well, I see you've got to bring that one with you. Uh... Can I move that one? Uh, don't worry, Arthur. I I'll move that out of the way for you, so that I'll just move it later. Ah, thanks, George. Ah. Alright, George. Uh, anything else that we need? Well, we need these pillows, so that means we can put them in the bag. Uh, where's the bag? Uh, I'll go and get it right away. Ah. Ah. Right, there you go, Arthur. Here's the bag for you. <laughs> Ooh! Do I see you've got the bag? Oh, what a few packs! Food, sweets, bag, clothes, uh, etc, etc. Uh, even PJs. Yes, even my PJs. Ooh. 
So what should we do with those pillows then? Shall I put them in a bag? Uh, yeah, good idea. Yeah, put them in there. All right. Then. Ah, here you go. Oh, and you can put another pillow in. Right, but Arthur, yeah, don't throw it at me, please. Don't what? Throw it at me. Don't what? Throw it at me. Oh. Put it in the bag, Arthur. Ah, no, 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 not like that. Arthur, would you give it to me? Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me that. Oh. 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 Sorry, George. No, but at least I've got one pillow in. And uh, besides, you only need one. Yeah, that's very true. Alright, Arthur, well, are you looking forward to that? Yeah. Alright, I'll let you know when we're ready. Okay. Oh, well, sit a bit, And say with me. <laughs> Alright, Arthur, yeah, I think you and I have done a good job on packing now. Now, do you want to see your granddad at next? Yeah, please. Oh, Alright then. Tell you what, I think your granddad's over there, though, Arthur. Oh, yeah. I see. Alright, I'll tell him that. Oh, alright, go ahead then. Oh, I'll see you later, Fierce. <laughs> Yippee! Oh! Hello, buddy. Hello. Well, then, viewers. So, this is it there. Well, I heard that I'm in a strange movie. Now, I know it's a bit unusual to do the movies, but, however, I heard that a, a young brother of mine called Arthur is packing ready to move back into George's old house. Uh, where is he, George? Uh, I think it's just um, coming up. Uh, right, I'll go again. Okie dokie. All right, I'll bet. Right, come and see your granddad then. Oh, all right, George. Come here. Ow. Hello, granddad. Oh, hello, Mama. Uh, guess, what, guess where we go, granddad? What? We're going to move back to George's old house. Ooh, George's old house? What? Is it for a couple of days? Yes, Grandad, I believe we are. If I can see, Grandad, I haven't been at George's old house before. Not? No, I haven't. Ooh, you're in for a real treat, uh, Martha. You know, because that was a very place, uh, and I heard that you got there for cold and low. Yeah, that's right, Grandad, uh, because um, I was cold and low, because I never get used anymore. Oh, just like on old bear stories, perhaps. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, you look... Hey, Grandad, I was just wondering if you would like to come with me. I mean, it may bring you back memories. Ooh, that is an extremely good idea, Arthur. Far out. Woo-hoo-hoo. Right, I'm going to jump on your, your head this time. Whoops. Oi. Grandad. Sorry. Oh, get too far. Get off. It does some exercise. Oi! Yeah, dirty granddad. That's the good you didn't poo on me. Ugh. Never mind, granddad. No. All right, I'll help you out. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Yeah, you're so kind. Well, granddad, well, are you looking forward to that? Yeah, I believe I am. Well, all right. But remember, granddad, we're only staying for a couple of days. Not forever. Oh, that's good. Uh, so, uh, would you have to ask George for where we can go? Uh, I'll ask George for which transport. George? Uh, yeah, yes, Arthur? Uh, well, which transport are we going? I, I mean, have you got a car or something? No, Arthur, I can't drive a car because autistic people and driving cars don't go well. Ah, what do they involve for crashing? Yes. So which type of transport are we going? Train? No, because trains are too expensive. Uh, unless you can get them at £9.60, which is not too bad. Wow. Hmm. George? Uh, what is it now? Uh, have you got enough money uh, for a train ticket? I mean, do all stuffed animals go for free? Yeah, I believe they do. Oh, and besides, I took your granddad on the train from last year. <gasps> Ooh! This is true, granddad. Did you go on a train last year? Oh, yep, yeah, I sure did, Arthur. Oh, sure did. Yep, yeah, could you say, in my old days with George Buxton, I went on the train to Dorchester. Well, of course, I first came across Dorchester in the first 
TV special. Oh, uh, as for the Dooster special, however, well, I had a look round the church and the park. Ooh, that sounds like that you're having a good time. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, so anyway, uh, can you ask George if you can get some money out? Uh, yeah, sure thing, Greta. Hey, George. Yes, sir. Uh, have you got enough money up for a train ticket? Well, I'll see what money i got, and then we'll go on a train then. Yeah, but we'll just make it as a one off. Alright. Oh, well, see you later, viewers. <laughs> Oh, so with me, but I might as well light up whilst George gets the train ticket. Ah, <sighs> and say with me. Right, all right, all right, right, you can come up now. I've got ten pounds. Oh, all right, coming. Ooh, ah. <sighs> all right, George. Uh, have you got ten pounds in your wallet? Uh, yeah, I got ten pounds here, Arthur. Now, see, I've got ten pounds because I saved it secretly. Ooh, what for going home? Yes, for going home. Ooh, fascinating. Ooh. Oi, George, oh, I'm looking forward to going on a train. I mean, this is the first time I've been on a train. Well, I'm going to dump onto your head as excitement. Oi, ah, right. Giddy up then to train. <laughs> Stop it, Arthur. Oh, why did you keep doing that to me? Why are you stop? Oh, sorry. Oh, I guess I've done it again. Ah, oh, that's all right, though, Arthur. Oh, for God's sake. Get the four of my eye. I said, get off. 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 <sighs> sorry. Right, I'm going to do the ten mark. Right, but I was just to say, uh, train. Here we go. Train to home. Ah! Ha ha. Well, you missed again. <laughs> you always miss. <laughs> Ever since you first meshed me, my mouth, in episode 10. So, Stop me again. Right, I'm gonna be careful of you. Yeah, that's fine. Pretty sure Arthur didn't mean to slap me. He always does that from the sh previous shows. Uh, isn't that right, Mr. Director? Uh, yes, sir, I believe so. Yeah, because Arthur always slaps you right in the mush. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, I think so. All right, Arthur. Now, if you like, if you get up now, will you promise to behave on the tray? Uh, yes, George. I uh, I will. Oh, all right, then. Right, get up first. Um. Hey, uh, sorry if I slapped you. Ah, uh, that's all right. Yeah, but you always do that. <sighs> yeah, I know. So, anyway, shall we get going on the train now? Um, yeah, see if that bit we're going home anyway. Yeah, we could do that. Ah, oh, fire out! Woohoo! All right, George, get your time pass ready. All right, got it. Well done. Right, and I suppose I'll go on the train now. Right, come on, Arthur, you're coming with me. Oh, wait, uh, you might want to bring your granddad with you. Oh, okay. All right, and I'll meet you at the train. All right. Oh, well, see you later, viewers, whilst I go on to the train station.
See you in a minute. <laughs> all right, Greta. Yeah, well, you'll have to come with me now. Yeah, I'll just have to carry you all the way. Okie dokie. Woo! Oh! Boy, Greta, you've been eating fish and chips recently. All right, I'll help. Oh, oh well, see you at the train, everybody. See you there. Oh. And hopefully, I will see you in George's old house. See you there. <laughs> After George and Arthur had done the packing, they got on the train and are on their way to George's old house for where George used to live. Right then, guys, so here we are. So, this is the first time you've been on a train, though, Arthur. Oh, and as for you, though, Emma, you've been on a train before, so I thought we'd just go on it. Oh, okay, George. Oh, uh, did you pay uh, £9.70 just to go to Upway? Yes, but of course. I'm going to be walking all the way to Upway. Ooh, uh, is it not a bit too far? No, it's not too far from the train station. No, of course I know where it is. And besides, I haven't even done that before. Well, George, this is the last time for you. So, George, will your old house bring back memories? Yeah, of course the old house will bring back memories. And besides, you and I have first started since uh, Series 4, but when we continued. Oh! Is that so? Uh, yeah, you could put it like that. And what about you, Arthur? Is this the first time you've been on a train? Yes. All right, but don't worry, guys. We're at our prey now, so we'll get off here. All right, oh, I'll see you in a minute, Pierce, and stay with me. After they got off the train and are headed to George's old house for a couple of days. Hmm, I wonder how Arthur's doing. Alright then, Arthur. So, here we are. So, this is my old house. And, um, do you recognise this place? Uh, no. Well, that was the very place in which um, your credit had first started since the TV special number 41 in my bedroom. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, and of course, and as for the lounge bit, that used to be downstairs for when I first started from last year ago. Oh. Alright, so which place are we in now? Well, we're at my old house at this time. I oh, would uh, see that bit here. Yeah, that is used to be my old bedroom from last year ago. Ah, oh, so that's your bedroom from last year? Yes. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Mm, so, is, are we in the George and Arthur, the movie, still? Yes, we sure are. You can see, this is the final chapter there is. Ah, oh, is that so? Yeah. Oh, and of course, now, how this, however, is this my bed? Oh, and, uh, do you recognise any of these characters? Yes. Well, this is Chloe Raccoon. Uh, she's your old wife, and I brought her home with me. Ow. Oh, and there's Baby Raccoon. Hmm, <laughs> even though you don't like him. But I'm glad you're the daddy now. And there's your granddad there. There's Crash. See, he never left with me. Ow. Oh, and these are the shelves here. Ooh, the shelf looks interesting. Oh, and uh, what's in that wardrobe? Uh, it's just full of Darren's stuff. Yeah, I'll let you have a look in there if you want to. See, that's all there is because I'm only staying over for Christmas. Oh, and that's Darren's stuff. Ooh. Alright, I'll close that up for you. Yeah, thank you, Arthur. Yeah, you're so kind. Oh, and uh, see that bit of gold strip there? No, that is the didgeridoo. Ooh, didgeridoo? Can I have a quick look? Um, yeah, sure thing. Now, you know, Arthur, I haven't played the Did We Do for a long time. Have you not? No. I'll tell you what, we can put it on the bed if you like. Now, see that there? That is the Did We Do. Ow. Oh. <laughs> More like Did We Poo? <laughs> Did We Poo? Ugh, that's disgusting. Never mind. Right, tell you what, I'll put that back for you so we don't have to touch Darren's stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, all set now, Arthur. Now, and I'll show you this wardrobe. Uh, what's in the wardrobe? Uh, I'll just have a look for you. See? That's Darren's stuff. So, it's used because it's now called the guest bedroom. Why is it called the guest bedroom? Because you say, Arthur, that used to be my bedroom because I lived here for a long time, ever since I first moved from March 2003. <gasps> 2003? Oh! It's been a very long time, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, yeah. It has been a very long time. 
All right. Now, see that window there? Yeah. Those maps, because it's got three glasses windows in it. Oh. But can I have a look outside? Uh, yeah, sure. Let me open the window for you. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. All right, then. Now you can have a look. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. It's got the stream there. Hmm. Well, I better get back in. So, I guess that's why it's called the Streamside Cottage. Or somewhere like that. Uh, yeah. But although, I'm not allowed to say that, though. Why not? Uh, because it's against the law to do that. Oh. Oh, that's right. I'll close the window for you. <laughs> oh. Alright, Mr. Roger. Um, anywhere else? Well, I can show you the bathroom if you like. Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll let you get out then. All right, well, you go out then. All right, oh, and of course, we need to be quiet though. Why? Because Tom's asleep. Oh, okay, right, all right then. Yeah, be careful, all right, very well. Oops. All right, Arthur, now here we are. So this is the bathroom. Ah, oh, so that's the bathroom, is it? Yes, Arthur, I believe it is. You must see, you haven't been in this bathroom before, have you? No. Well, I'm sure you'll like this place. I mean, it's much more fun. Oh, see that bath there? Yeah, that is the bathroom. Oh, so I see that's the bigger bath. Hmm, and it's a good thing it's you, didn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Oh, and see that here? That's a shower. Now, do you have a shower back at Rubber Road? Yes. Well, this is a real thing, because this is not difficult for me to use. Oh, don't ask about the squidgy. It's just because, you see, my mum and dad wants me to use the squidgy every time when I had a shower. I just do it so. Oh. Oh, what's these ones? Uh, you know, those ones. Th those are Brother Tom's, because they're sh vegan shower gels. Ooh, vegan shower gels? Yuck. Arthur, it's not yuck. It's good for Tom. All right. Uh, you're not going to wet me, though, are you? No, I'm not allowed to do that at my parents anyway. I'm not going to bother. Right, tell you what, you can prove that one. Uh, that is a toilet over there. And that's a sink. Oh, well, don't ask about the mirror. Ooh, I see it's got a mirror over there. Oh, I better give myself to wave to myself. Hello, Mr. Somebody. Uh, Arthur, you can see yourself in a reflection. Look. Ooh, <laughs> look at that ugly old man. Uh, Arthur, it is you. <gasps> Oh, me and my bit now. And I guess that's another window. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It is. Ooh, and I take that's the uh, radiator. Yeah, yeah, because that's where you keep my clothes dry and simple. Wow, very nice. Very nice bathroom. Ooh, lovely blue and white. Mmm. All right, so where do you want to show me next? Well, I could show you Mum and Dad's bedroom for where you got left cold and alone. Ow. That's a good idea. Right, alright, but we need to be quiet though, as I told you. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah, well done. Right, let's go. Alright then, Arthur, now here we are. This is Mum and Dad's bedroom. Oh, so that's Mum and Dad's bedroom, is it? Yes. Oh, and of course, see that bit here? Yeah? There's the very place uh, in which, uh, when you got left cold and alone. Oh, really? Yes, that's because, um, did you guess who took you in? No? Well, my mum and dad first took you to Rubber Road, so that you can have your new life there. Oh, I see. Now, can you, meet, can you think of some supporters that you met? Well, there's, um, Rob. And your granddad first met Toby in his own show. And don't we say it, lovely Joe. Oh, and also, um, and I don't know if there's any other supporters there, but I'm glad you enjoyed me. Oh, and you've also met a ta Polish guy called Tad. Oh, yeah, that is very good. Yeah, tell me about it. And see, that is the very bit uh, in which when you got left cold and alone. Yeah, because um, you need to have a new life. Yeah, so that's the very bit, yeah? That's the very place. And that's my dad's bed. <laughs> Nice and comfy. Oh, and my mum's obsessed with cats. Wow, I see. Hmm, nice small square TV. Very nice. Hmm, okay, let's get out of here.
All right, Arthur, now here comes the bit. Now this is the lounge. That was the very place that when I started in my own programs. Ow! So that's the very place. Ooh! What's this one? That is the Christmas angel. And there's the Christmas tree. Ow! So that's the Christmas tree, is it? Yes, Arthur, I believe it is. You can see, you have never seen this Christmas tree before, have you? No. Well, I'm sure you like it. Oh, and do not forget to mention that there's a big screen TV there. Ooh, very nice. Oh, is that one of cats? Yes, that's my mum's, really. Oh, all right then. All right then, Arthur. Now, now that we've looked in here now, shall we go out? In, shall we go outside? Yeah, please. Oh, all right then. Oh, and do you want to meet my dad? Well, uh, after what you just showed me from the Crash Bandicoot bit, from, from what you showed me from earlier. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, all right, I'll ask Dad um, if he wants to be in a film. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's go. I'm going to do it. All right, then, Arthur. Now, here we are. Now, that is the stream. Ow! So that's a stream, is it? Yes. And um, see that building there? That is the real thing. The summer house. Ooh, the summer house. Very nice. Okay, let's go out over there. <laughs> ah, so I guess that must be, um, the front, yeah? Yeah, that's the front. <laughs> oh, and see that post box there? Yeah, that is the post box. Would you like to look inside? Yeah, please. All right, see if you can do it. All right. <laughs> Hello? Anybody here? Huh. There's no one there. I must want to close it. Uh, oh. Okay, that's that. All right, all right, now, see that bit place there? Yeah, that is the garden. Oh, that was the very place where which your granddad had first saw. Oh, yeah, and saved with your best friend. Oh, so that's the garden, is it? Yes. Ooh. Oh, don't ask about that, because Dad showed me that the other day. Oh, really? Yes. And that is the real garden. Hmm. But this one hasn't, hasn't got a pond or anything like that. So it's not like the one back at Rope Road, but it's just a lot of old well. Ow! Well, well, eh? <laughs> well, well. Yeah, I get you, Arthur. I get the picture. Hmm. Oh, and of course, don't worry, Arthur. Right, I asked my dad if he wants to be in a film, and of course, he'll come out of the garden in a minute. Oh, that's fine. Right, let's have a look. Hmm, so I guess that must be the bench. Yeah, that's right, Arthur. Now, that was the very place in which I used to wait for the school bus every morning. Ow, oh, that's a school bus. Yeah, but you see, it's been a very long time for me. Oh, I see. Hmm, yeah, that's clever. Okay, let's have a look around uh, over there. <laughs> yeah, well done, Arthur. See, that? you're very sensible. Yeah, so I guess that's where we're back to where we started, yeah? Yeah, we're back to where we started. Oh, and of course, there might be some other things around here. Oh, let's see if there's another bench there. Ooh, good, I see one. Uh, Arthur, you can't see on that one here. Because um, you have to sit properly. Oh, maybe later. Yeah, well done. <laughs> now, see that bit here? Yeah. Well, those are leaves. Do you remember the beast leaves back at Rubber Road? Yeah, but that was the one in which when it was autumn. Ow, I see. Ah, oh, I don't see there's a garden over there. Really? Well, I didn't know the garden over was a bit scary. Hmm. Oh, weird, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> oh, let's see if there's another one over there. Hmm. Well, I know. <laughs> Alright, um. Oh, oh is, that, is that the tree? Ah, uh, yes, I believe it is the tree. You can see, when Cray Raccoon first climbed up this tree, the very tree, and she didn't get stuck. Wow. Oh, did she not? No, I don't think she did. Wow. Oh, right. All right, and let's keep walking around. <laughs> oh, and uh, can I try climbing on one? Uh, are you sure you want to take the risk, Arthur? Well, I'll be all right. Well, as long as you're with me. Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll let you climb up then. All right. Uh, 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 Ooh. I could see someone down there. Well, that was lucky though, wasn't it, Lord? Yeah, that's right, Arthur. It was very lucky enough. Hmm. And you didn't think the fact. 
I would see that person there. That's my dad. Give it to him to wife then. <coughs> that sick of your dad! What is he done to? Uh, I think he was just pulling some funny faces at me. Wow. Eh? Where did your father, father go? Uh, don't worry, Arthur. He's just here, though. Look! Oh, boy! Pardon? <laughs> oh, I guess I, you're going to need me. Yeah, that's right, Arthur. He does need you. Hmm. Oh, oh well, better try that one. <laughs> oh, well, sit about this. All right, then, Arthur. Right, I think my dad is in here now, so it's just pretend. Oh, well, all right, then. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Got it. Well hello. done. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Arthur. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Nice to see you. Yeah, very, nice um... to meet you. Uh, I think it was my hand uh, that you oh, want sorry. to shake. Please, please to meet you. Please to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, how's George Buxton? Uh, you know, the real pain in the bum. The is real he a pain? pain in the butt. He's a real pain in the butt, <laughs> as always. Yeah, I think he is, are George? <laughs> but it's very lovely to have him here to see us at Christmas time. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess. Okay, that's that. Bye now. Oh yeah, bye bye. Hmm, I guess I that's... I was only joking, I was only oh. joking. Oh, oh God, you, you, you right. big old man! I'm going to do some work now. I've got some George's washing to sort out. Oh, no, I haven't. I've left it for him to take home to do. Whoa, cheeky of you. I haven't, though. But got... uh, anyway, well, well, what's yes, your Arthur. name? What's your name? Andrew. Oh, Andrew. Ooh, that's the same name as Andrew the Penguin. Andrew the Penguin? Uh, yeah, see, uh, Andrew the Penguin has got the same name as yours. What, penguin? Uh, yeah, the penguin. My name's not penguin, my name's Andrew. Well, I know it's not. You just said my name's the same as Andrew the penguin. You said his name's penguin. Oh, sorry. I, I meant Andrew the penguin as a penguin, but not you. Oh, right, thank you. Uh, anyway, so I looked at your bedroom because I thought you showed me for where, where he first got left cold and alone. Yeah, because you took me there, didn't you? Where? To rub the road, of course. Oh, yes, of course you did. Yeah. yeah, because I heard that granddad, well, my granddad had retired from doing it. Is that right? Retired from doing? Uh, you know, uh, it's just my own hair bear, obviously. My oh, granddad. Yes, 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 he's retired, hasn't he? Ah, uh, yeah, because he looks like an old man. Time. He's been going a long time. A bit time. like you, uh, Andy Pandy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you, Arthur. On that note, I would wish you a goodbye. Oh, yeah, well, I'll bet you fell out at that, Andrew. Thank you. Farewell, Arthur. Yeah, farewell. Goodbye. Bye. Well, George, that was lovely for me, for me to see your dad. Yeah, that's right, Arthur. Yeah, he's such a good bloke. Hmm. And he also is sometimes a joker. Oh, I see. But Arthur, Andrew is not a penguin. He just said my dad. Because we got Andrew the penguin back at Red Road. Oh, cut that out. Ow! George, what's that for? Well, that's what you get for calling Andrew the penguin. It's really not a penguin. Oh, sorry, George. Oh, that's all right. You didn't know, did you? No. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed meeting my dad. Well, then, Arthur, isn't that very nice? Yeah, it was very nice to see my dad. I mean, your dad. Oh, Arthur, you've got it all mixed up. You're confusing me with my dad compared to yours. Oh, is that so? Yes. Ah. Oh. All right then, George. Yeah, very lovely. Uh, any more places that you want to be to have a look at? Uh, yeah. Although, Arthur, hmm, when you said that you got left home alone, you didn't mean that, did you? No. Uh, you just got left cold alone. And luckily, my dad remembers you. Wow, that's nice. Oh, and who's that meowing? Ah, uh, that's just Samuel, the cat. Oh. Very nice. Can I stroke him? Uh, Arthur, I think, um, it's a body. Oh, I see. Hmm. Very nice cat. Hmm. Let's have a look at the well. <laughs> uh, uh, ah! Oh, what's that No. Uh, I don't know who that gnome is, but just introduce yourself to it. All right. Hello, Mr. Gnome. Hello. I'm Arthur, the white bear. Uh, hello. Can you hear me? Hello? Well, I'm going to give you a little tickle. Yeah. Tickle, tickle. Oh, 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 you big ugly brute. Oh, ugly brute? Oh, ugly brute? Is that not ugly? George, did that phone speak? Yes, I believe he did. You yeah, because see, I had to pretend that one of the gnomes just comes alive. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Ask him again. Very well. <laughs> All right. So I, I heard that um, that you'd be working at the beer bar. Oh yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, because it's all work, work, work. Oh, really, George? Just names work, work. No, I think it's just just pretend, really. Do you, want, do you want me to show you some of the dad's nose? Love to. Yeah, that's fine. All right, say goodbye then. All right, bye bye, Mr. No. Yeah, bye bye. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, I'll see about this when I can have a look. Uh, it's all right, Arthur. I found another nose. Oh, uh, this is, might be look like uh, one of those Bill and Ben's. Oh, all right. Ooh, ow. Ooh. So I guess that must be Bill and Ben's cup. No. Yeah, that's right. Because they're the most famous. Wow. I see. Hmm. Is there a Bill and Ben, the Pearl Pot men in there? Uh, no. But this garden oak does swap a dwarves. Ow. Really? Uh, hello, Mr. Garden oak. It, it's me, Arthur. Can you do any flubber dobs? Uh, yes, I can. Hey, listen to this. Hey! Uh, hang on, uh, did the note call me flubber dob? Uh, no, but I think it was just a language. Wow, very interesting. All right then, Mr. Flubber dob no. Right, I'll leave you to it then. Goodbye. Bye-bye. All right. George. Uh, I'll just show you some more gardeners. <laughs> now, see that here? There's a rabbit with another gardener, but unfortunately, the top bit is a bit chopped off because the, this gnome is a bit manky. Ah, oh, manky? Yes. And there's the angel there. Mm -hmm. A big clay rabbit was a little, little angel. Yeah, tell me about it. But even though clay rabbit is not an angel, he always makes courses things a lot. Oh, that's so. I think so. Anyway, let's just keep walking around. Well, I know it's not very much in a garden, but that'll do for me. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, oh, there's another note. Uh, oh, so I see someone's falling down. I, I must well pick that. Uh, uh. Hey, you are, Mr. No. You're all standing up now. Oh, thank you. Love it, me. And I'm Ben. Ben? What? Ben? Oh, I didn't know all gnomes could speak. Very weird, I guess. Alright, now, I already climbed that tree earlier because, um, I only fell off a bit. Ah, so there's a bench. I might as well sit on one. Yeah. Ouch. Oh, are you right, Arthur? Oh, yeah, I'm alright. Oh. Hey, Arthur, are you enjoying it so far? Yes, George, certainly am. So, uh, I guess that must be your old house, but why got left cold and alone? Yeah, that's right, Arthur. Yeah, because I think Mum and Dad, well, I think my dad remembered that you've just been took to Rover Road so that you can have a new life after your granddad had retired from last year. Wow. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Oh, well, that is very good. All right, now, shall we uh, head back inside now? Yeah, I see that it's getting a bit chilly anyway. Oh, I don't want to... Yeah, we can't go back to Rover Road now. Yeah, because, um, you see, I am only staying for a couple of days. Wow! Oh, really? Yes, that's just spent for a last, last couple of nights. Oh, so uh, how many more nights have you got? Well, I've got one more night to do. Uh, then we'll go back to River Road tomorrow. Ooh, this is exciting! Oh, I wish I could tell Brad about my adventure in this place. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Uh, I mean, after all, Arthur, it's all part of Georgia and Arthur the movie. Uh, just to conclude my last project. Ah! Oh. Well, George, many happy returns. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Arthur. All right, then. I'll leave you to it then, so that you can sit down, and then I'll let you know when it's time to go back. Okay. Oh, well, see you later, viewers, whilst I have a little rest. Right, all right, Arthur. Now, do you want to play around for a little bit? Yeah, please. Oh, all right. But I'll show you the gate first. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> now, see that gate there? That is the gate. Oh, see those traffic lights there? That is the very place when I used to do filming here, but I don't do that anymore. Yeah, and that's the gate, because that means that's the way out. Ooh, I see. All right, then. <laughs> right, so, can I have a little play now? Uh, yeah, sure. See if you can throw yourself over to the, over the well, then. Oh, uh, okie dokie, then. Give me a countdown. Oh, all right, I'll give you a countdown. Right, here we go. One, two, three, 
to wood lift up. I'm all right. Oh, I'm stuck. Lord, get me out. Oh, all right, Arthur. I'll get you out right away. Beep, 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 beep. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm all right, George. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry if I fell on. Now, wait, was it you fell? Uh, I think it's that one down there. Oh, is that why you can't throw yourself onto the well? Yes. Oh, sorry, Arthur. It's my mistake. But right, I'll try again. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off! Woo! Ooh! Oh! That's a good landing. I wonder where Father is, though. Ah! There he is. Oh. Alright, Arthur. Wow, well, I see you made it to the other side. Well done. Yeah. Thank you, George. Oh, boy! I enjoyed that. But I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Yippee! Oh, Father and Arthur. Does that feel good? Yeah, it feels good. And luckily, there is no pond in this garden. Hmm. In which you always put my face into my pond. Now, oh, don't worry, there is no pond in this garden. Ah, oh. right, I'll try again one more time. Super bear! Oh! Alright, Arthur, now are you ready to fly over the well? Yeah, since I used to be super bear before. Now, yeah. okay, and Arthur, right, away you go then. Super! Oh! Oh! I can God, help me! Oh, alright. Oh, Arthur, oh, not again! Call yourself a super bear! Get out of the pond then! Ouch! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm a rat of it! Was it the rain? Yeah, it was the rain. Oh, hey Arthur, I'm gonna give you a little spin around. <gasps> no, you're not! I'm out of here! Right then, Arthur, I'm ready, so I'm gonna give you a spin around. <gasps> oh no, you don't! Oh no! But Ah! Will you stop it? Oh, your father wouldn't like it. Yeah, feels good, isn't it, Arthur? And we're back at my own house again. Oh, we're not to be a different stop. <laughs> oh, dear, Arthur. Oh, looks like you'd end up. Mm, it's good it's not the pond. Do you want me to pull you out? <sighs> yeah, please. All right. Beep, beep. All right, Arthur. I I'll take you back to the bench. Oh, well, Arthur, you know, I didn't mean to give you a spin, but you did mean to. Ow. All right, I'll sit down right now. Well, oh. Arthur, did you enjoy that? Uh, I enjoyed looking around and know for the spinning, which you always do. I'll cut that out. Right, I'll slap you. <laughs> oh. Yuck. Oh. Oh. You, you dirty bitch. You wet my face. Oh, yeah, you got yourself wet, but yeah, I think it might have been the leaves that's caused it from last night. Oh, I say. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, I know you only really tried to help. But anyway, oh, oh, and see that cloud's there? Yeah, that means it's started to get dark now. Oh, so it's getting dark, is it? Yes, I'm afraid so. Oh, so does that mean we'll have to head back inside? Uh, yeah, sure. Let me just give you a little wipe first, so that your dad can sit you, but my dad can sit. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, excuse me, first one. Uh, how am I doing, George? Uh, you know, I hope it's not the pawn. Uh, let's have a look at you. Yep, you're definitely fine now. Boy, you're looking good, and you're famous already. Ah, oh, thanks, George. And it's a good you don't make me blush. All right. Uh, shall we head back inside the house now? Uh, yeah, see, it it's getting dark anyway. Oh, see, here comes my dad again. <laughs> All right then, old man. Nice meeting you. And you. Hmm, I'm gonna spank dad's button. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you later, then, old man. <laughs> oh, fair, that's not nice. Sorry, but if it's only a joke, well, I know it's a joke. But anyway, we're back in. Well, see bitch. All right, Arthur. Yeah, we're back in the wolf now. Right, I'll quickly show you the snug first. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> ah! Boy, George, the snug looks nice. Uh, who did it belong to? Well, it belongs to my mum and dad, anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. Have a look at your, those videos over there. All right. Now, do you recognise any of these? No. 
Well, there's Black Adder 2 over here. Well, because this is called Part of the Second Day. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, and of course, there's something special that I want to show you. Now, excuse me, viewers. Alright, Arthur. Now, see that here? Yeah, that is a video called Help is the Hair Bear Bunch. Ooh! Hair Bear Bunch? Ooh! That sounds interesting. Ooh, what I see it says, over one and a half hours of the bear sensual. Ooh! That one just looks a bit like my granddad. Uh, yeah, tell me about it because it's been made by Hannah Barbera. You know, Bill and Joe. Ah, oh, that is a very interesting video. Uh, George, yeah, are you good to have that video? Well, see, does that my mum and had never watched that one anyway. Well, I'll let you put it back. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. <sighs> well, that was interesting of these videos. Yeah, tell me about it. I always had a first look. Okay, all right, Arthur. Yeah, see, this is getting a bit not now dark now. Anyway, I'll let you go off to bed now. Yeah, just until we get back to the road. First thing in the morning. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> all right, Arthur. Yeah, sorry if I didn't get to show you the kitchen or the dining room, but that's all right. You don't need to worry about the dining room or anything because I think they're only using it for certain occasions. Yeah, tell me about it. So, I guess that we're back in here now, yeah? Yeah, that's right, Arthur. Oh, and don't worry, we'll go back to Upper Road first thing tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I'm a bit tired. Oh, uh, before you go to bed, Arthur, do you want to see your granddad? Yeah, please. Oh, all right, Arthur. Right, I'll call up on the hair bed. All right. Oh, I'll sit up here first. Shh. Hello, everybody. Well, viewers, so I have... But we are back at George's old bedroom. Oh, George? Ah, uh, yes, Nova. Why are we back at your old bedroom again? Well, I thought you left off the other road. Well, I know I did, Nova. Yeah, but see, I have to come home for Christmas every year. Oh, I see. Oh, I guess what I did to Arthur. I'm not sure Arthur will tell you. Oh, okay then. Call up on him then. Oh, alright. Right, you sit here then, and you can look at Arthur whilst he's talking to you. Okay. Hey, Arthur, I think Granddad wants to speak to you. Oh, all right, George. Hello, there. <laughs> Hello, Granddad. Oh, hello, Arthur. Oh, guess what I've done today? What? Well, I've done the tour around George's old house. Really, Arthur? Is it really the tour? Yes, you have to say, Granddad. I hadn't been to this house before, but since you were there. Oh, have you not? No, not this time. Ooh, that's exciting for you. Oh, and of course I'm Arthur. There is one thing that I remember from my old days. What's that? Well, when I first met Crest Barnacle, because I think we were, when I first started at George's Old Lounge, uh, that's probably from Series 4 from last year. Ooh, boy, you've had a good life though, haven't you, before I came along? Yeah, that's right, Arthur. It sure is. Oh, uh, don't ask why we're at George's Old House again. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's all right. Uh, anyway, so how was the tour around the house? Oh, it was very lovely, thank you. Oh, guess what? Who I met? No, it's George's dad. Ooh, George's dad? Ooh, well, I heard that he's not like a good bloke. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because he is an old man. Hmm, <laughs> just like George Buxton. Oi, I am not an old man, and my dad is not. He's just because he's only a little older than me. Cut it out. Sorry. Uh, that's all right. Uh, anyway, oh, uh, Grant, the hair bear? Yeah? Guess what Arthur did to my dad? No. He just spanked Dad's butt. <gasps> oh, so you spanked Dad's butt? You evil fat rat, I'm going to kick you away. <whistles> Oi! What's that for? Oh, that's what you get hmm, for kicking Dad's butt. You know, that's not very nice. Uh, uh, come on, no, Bear. It's only a joke. I mean, I always do that to my dad all the time. And he doesn't seem to mind. Oh. Is he not? No, he doesn't mind one bit. Ooh. Well, I'm glad Arthur enjoyed meeting your dad. Yeah. Oh, I also remember last year when Crash first met your dad. Mm, yeah, that was way before I moved to River Road. 
Yeah, so what are we here for? We're only just here for a couple of nights because I have to stay here for Christmas. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Alright, uh, can you show me some, for what present you got? Uh, how about we just do it when we get back at Rupert Rose? Alright, now, do you want to go to bed now? Uh, yes please, Hal. Alright, you come out of bed. Okay. <gasps> I don't need to sleep. Oh. Well, Robert, I'm glad you're very comfortable. Yeah, thank you, George. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, oh and uh, see that sheep there? Yeah? Uh, it's not short of sheep, is it? No, but this is just another, another sheep. Oh, well, I must get back to bed. Oh. Well, good night, Robert. See you in the morning. Oh, and I'll let you know when we go back. Okay. Oh, yeah, Bye, Robert. Right, it's time to go to bed now. Yeah, I think you might need some sleep if you want to move back to Upper Road tomorrow. Yeah, alright then. Well, I'm a bit tired anyway. <sighs> alright then. I might as well go off to sleep now. <sighs> yeah, well done, Arthur. Very sensible. Yeah, thank you. Well, I'll help you get tucked in. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, well done. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed the tour of Upper Road today. <sighs> alright, Arthur. Well, I'm glad you're in bed now. Now, do you want me to give you a kiss now? Yeah, please. Alright, I'll give you a kiss now. Ugh, I think you need a wash tomorrow anyway. But I'll let you off this time. Yeah, okay, George. Well, good night, George. Oh, oh. Well, well then, Arthur. Yeah, you're so cute when you're asleep. Alright then. Right, I'll just leave you to it so you can have a good night's sleep until we're ready to go back tomorrow. Okay? Okay, mister. Alright then. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Right. Good night, Arthur. Sweet dreams. Well, viewers, well, it looks like Arthur's in bed now. Why? I'm glad he enjoyed the tour. Oh, uh, well, see you later, viewers. Um, when it's morning. See you later. See you in the morning. Couple of days later, after they got home, let's see on how Arthur's sleeping. <laughs> Hey Arthur, wake up, wake up, I can't if you don't wake up, I'll tickle you. <laughs> oh, it's your bug, get off me, alright, alright, I'm up, I'm up. Um, good morning George, oh, good morning Arthur, uh, how was your night's sleep last night? Oh, very lovely, thank you. Well, glad you enjoyed it. Oh, well, what about you George? Yeah, I certainly enjoyed my sleep as well. Well, very lovely. Oh, uh, Arthur? Yeah? Guess what day are we on? Uh, no. Well, we're on to the 27th of December this time. Ooh. So, what day is the right time to be going back? Well, we are going back to Rubber Road today. <gasps> Ooh. I can't wait to tell Rob all about the adventures I've had in this house for where you used to live. Yeah, that's fine. Do you want to open a window? Yeah, please. All right, then. I'll let you do that. All right, then. Right, here we go. Now for this one. Oh. All right, Arthur. Now, do you want to have a look outside the window so you can sniff for some fresh air? Yes. All right, Arthur. Arthur you lie down for a minute and I'll open the window for you. All right. There you go, Arthur. All yours. Thank you. Okay. Let's have a little sniff. Ah! What a lovely, fresh morning that's turned out to be. Oh, as you can see, there's some ducks over there. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, I can see you, George. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna get myself a little wave to you. Hello, George. Hello. Oh, hello, Arthur. Right, come on in then. All right. <laughs> All right then, Arthur. So we're gonna go back to Upper Road now. So of course, let me do the packing. Okay. Oh well. See you later, viewers. Uh, before we go back to Upper Road. See you later. <laughs> And stay with me when my packing is finished. Oh, and also to be back at Rubber Road. See you later. After George has done the packing, and they are heading back to the train to go back to Yeovil, the little town of it. All right, you two bears. Right, we're back on the train now. Oh, and Arthur, did you enjoy the tour of my old house today? Yes, George. Yes, George. Ah, uh, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Arthur. But I know you haven't heard that because I'm, I think you're a bit too old to walk around. Well, just let you stay here. 
Oh, oh good. So, are we heading back to a broke now? Well, not yet, no, well, not since we've left um, Weymouth now, but of course we'll be very yeovil in no time. Oh, oh good. Mm, oh, looking forward to going back to a road. Yeah, that's the very place where I belong, and it's my hero. Yeah, I agree with you, Greta. Yeah, you do miss Rubber Road, don't you? Yeah, of course I do, Arthur. Yeah, I think so. Uh, anyway, uh, what should we do when we get back? Well, I think we can watch the hair that much when we get back. Ooh, that was a good idea. Oh, well, should have been first when we head back, and stay with me. And me. They got off a train and are now heading back to Rubber Road to watch the Hair Bear Bunch on video. <laughs> well, I'm back and we're back from my old house now. A boy furious. That was in a couple of days worth to be staying there for. And plus, I give an offer a bit of a tour around the old house. Yeah, just to make it as to look like a final chapter. All right then, Arthur. Yeah, we're back in a proper road now, so you can come up now. All right. Ooh, ow. Uh, Arthur, have you forgotten something? No. Well, you might want to pick up your granddad. <gasps> granddad? Whoops! I'm going to go pick him up! <laughs> Here you are, George. Here's granddad for you. Oi! Oh! Arthur! What's that for? Sorry, but I thought you said to pass it to you. Oh, well, I didn't say that. <sighs> Are you alright, Nerva? Yeah, I'm alright, George. Oh, yeah, thank you very much for asking. Oh. Alright. Alright then, Arthur. Now, uh, shall we go into the lounge? Oh, and guess what? What? Uh, you know the Hair Bear Bunch video that I just showed you from last night? Yeah? Well, I bought it from home. Ooh! What? The Hair Bear Bunch? Yes. Um, what's the Hair Bear Bunch? What? The Hair Bear but it's like a like a big creature that you get lots of hairs in, except for your granddad. His name was no hair bear, really. Ooh, are you famous, granddad? Uh, no, I'm not. But I think the other bears will be. Ooh, well, George. Yes. Can I have a little watch of uh, the hair bear bunch? Yeah, I see. Does that really want you one episode anyway? Yeah, we could do. Is that we're back? Ooh, far out! Woohoo! Hey, Granddad, do you want to watch the Hair Bear Bunch? Yes, please! Alright, uh, right, come on, Granddad, I'll carry you again. Alright! Ooh! Uh, I'll see you at the lounge then. <laughs> ah! Uh, Arthur, hey, one more question. Yeah? Uh, would you like to bring your wife with you? Your ex wife? Uh, yeah, please. Oh, alright. Hey, hey, Chloe, uh, hey, you're an heir. Oh, and you may be a movie star. Woo! Movie star, come in. Hello, Hello. Come on, viewers. Wave back to Chloe. She's a famous star. Well, then, Chloe, a kiss for movie on. No? Well, we're at Georgia and Arthur the movie. Oh, woo! Georgia and Arthur the movie? Woo! Mm. Oh, well, sorry about that, Furious. Oh, it looks like Clay Racket has faded because she's famous. Yeah, she had to faint, though. All right, Clay. You can get up now. Clay's if you don't. I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you. It's a good thing that you've just landed yourself on my head. Well done. Oh, thank you, Mr. Buster. <sniffs> All right. All right, could you get off my head, though? Mm, I'll just slide on you again. Right, I get your ball off the screen. Oi! Oh, oh, you're such an evil thing. I hate going to slap you. Down! Ah! What's to stop it? Like, oh, no, this is so bad as Arthur is. As always, we you get. No! Oh! <laughs> 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 
this time because I heard that we're in a new movie called George and Arthur the movie. Oh, and I'm Arthur's dad, by the way, and this is my wife, Jay. Hello, big buddy. I'm Jay. Well then, Henry, so, uh, um, should we have a lot to talk to them? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, you too. Oh, uh, y- y- yes, Jay? Y- yes, Jay? Oh, who are we going to kidnap then? Well, well, today we're going to kidnap your son, uh, and I heard the name is Arthur. Yeah, that's right, because Arthur's my son. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. All right, then, Jane, and you, Fred, and you, Henry, come here. All right. <sighs> right, then, you two bears. Right, because we are going to, because you two are going to kidnap your son, Arthur, so it's just the, for you to bring him to us so that we can get him to death. Oh, gee, okie dokie. Yeah, all right then, let's go. Well, see you later, see you two later then. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well then, Jay, well, this is a fast kidnapping. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, oh God. I hate it when you throw us all the way there, you evil thing. Right, I'm going to kick you. (whistles) Ouch. That's what you get for throwing us all the way here. All right, then, George. Now, um, can I put videotape in? Yeah, I see that you haven't done that for ages anyway. Yeah, I'll let you do that. Alright. Right, alright, I thought you could put it in now. Oh. Alright. Right, I got it. 
Well done. Now, let's see if we can remember. Alright then. Right, here we go. Oh, don't worry, Arthur. I'll help you this bit. Here we go. Right, sorry, Arthur. I, I put it in for you. Ah, oh, thank you. Right, now you can press play. Okay, I can do that. Uh, uh. Right, okay then. Right, so let's get on watching the Hair Bear Bunch. Woohoo! Alright, all right then, guys. Right, the Hair Bear Bunch is on now, so you can come on the chair now. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Alright, Arthur, you're next. Alright. Right, now it's your turn. No hair bear. All good. Ooh. Oh god. Oh. Let's get hold of the show. Oh! Time to get all the bears to be hairy. But not me. Boy! I didn't know the bear case could be a bit technological! <laughs> Oh, that one's even hairier! Rude! Air costume! So keepers! Woohoo! Help! 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 It's the Hair Bear Bunch! <laughs> oh! Keep your keeper! Oh! Oh, is this just one episode today, George? Yeah, I see that you haven't seen this video before, have you guys? No! Not me! Or me! Well, I'm sure you three will like it. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Hmm, that hairy bear looks a bit like... Bear. And I'm still smaller than the average bear! Oh! I guess the cave is so technological! A horrid, George! Well, I'm glad you got that video from home for the last couple of days! Thank you! Oh, you're welcome, guys. Yeah, anything for me to show you that. I mean, this is just a one off for this move. Oh, oh, God! Oh, uh, Chloe? Oh, yes, George? Uh, I hope no one's gonna kidnap you, because if they do, well, me and Arthur will have to rescue you, with the help of Grandad. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, I know you look like a damsel in distress. Yeah, I guess so. Alright then. So, um, I wonder who would be our door? Uh, I don't know yet, Chloe, but whoever it is, I'll answer the door for you guys. Okay. Okay. Huh? Ooh! Sounds like someone's at the door! Well, I'm gonna go and answer it! Right, excuse me a minute, guys. Right, I'm just gonna stop it for a minute. What? But I want to carry on! M m in a minute, no, I bet, whilst I go in there, uh, call um, on whoever's at the door. Oh, God! Right, alright then, guys. Right, I'm just gonna get the door now. So, you guys stay here. Oh, and enjoy watching the rest of the hair bear bunch. Oh, oh, God, George! Okay! Alright! Okay, now, let's go and answer the door, then. Ooh! Who are you two? Uh, can we come in first? Ah, uh, yeah, good idea. Come on, guys. Yeah, you can go in. Oh, all right, then. Come on, then. Uh, Janet, Jane, you can come in. Okay. <laughs> all right, you two. Uh, who are you? Well, first start, um, I'm, uh... Uh, Jane, uh, what's my name? Uh, I think his name was, um, I think it was Henry. Oh, and I'm Jane. Oh, so you two are Henry and Jane. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Buxton. Yeah, because you see, we're here to pick up our son. Eh? Well, I didn't know that you two had a son. Uh, what's this, your son's name? Um, I believe, um, the name was Arthur. Oh. Really? Um, yeah. So, um, I was just wondering if we could pick him up. Um, go on. Um, tell him about Henry. Uh, tell what? Um, tell George that we are Arthur's parents. Oh, okie dokie. Alright, George. Uh, can I tell you something? Yes. 
Uh, would you keep that one a secret? Uh, yeah. Sure thing, Henry. Okay. Now, the thing is, uh, George, uh, it's just because, um, when we raised Arthur as a young son, well, I'm very sorry to say, but we are Arthur's parents. What? You're Arthur's parents? And what do you want to pick Arthur up for? Uh, well, could you say that because you say, um, when we first lost um, Arthur into the middle of a road, but when he was a little boy, he got run over, and it was like a road kill. Uh, it's just because, but luckily, our little bear had survived the road kill, and then he fled to the forest and tries to find a new life. Yeah, that's right, Henry. Yeah, because we were teased just trying to find a new life. So, has Arthur found the right place yet? Uh, yeah, he's found the right place. And this is Roper Road, by the way. Oh, I see. Ooh, so, uh, shall we collect our Arthur? Uh, tell you what, I I'll let Arthur know. Hey, Arthur, hey, could, could you come down here for a minute? Oh, hey, 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 ah, ooh. Uh, yes, George? Uh, what is it? Uh, did I forget to mention that those two are your parents? Ooh! Really? Is it better dead? Yes, it is, Arthur. Look! Alright. Ooh! Uh, what are their names? Ah, uh, that's Henry over here. Yeah, uh, that's Jane. Oh! So that's Mum and Dad! Mum and Dad! Oh! Mummy and Daddy! Oh, I love you, Dad! I'll give you a hug! Oh, oh, kiss off me! Give it to some! Kiss off me! Sorry, Mum! Get off me! Ow! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, you dirty son! Oh, yeah, I love you too, Mum. Oh, and especially you, Daddy boy. Oh, I'm gonna give you a hug. Get off me, you son. Get off me, sonny. Get off. Get off. Well, I'm glad I you love me, uh, son. I'm glad you love me. Get off. Hey. You dirty son. Why are you? Uh, am I a dirty son, Dad? Yes, you spider! Oh, don't worry. Uh, anyway, we're friendly. Oh. So, really, George, uh, what are we here for? Uh, I think they're just coming to take you home. <gasps> what? Does that mean I'll never see you again, George? Oh, no, I'm afraid not, Arthur. <gasps> but, George, you can't do that to me! Please, what is there with you? I'm sorry to up, Arthur, but if those two are your parents, then you need to go. Oh, but I don't want to go! I know you find it very hard not to go, but you have to because, I mean, those two here are your parents! Oh, so if I do have to go, will you miss me? Yeah, of course I'll miss you, Arthur. A and besides, well, you always miss me a lot. Yeah, well, I'd better say goodbye and say goodbye to my friends first. Oh, alright, alright, say goodbye to me. Uh, alright, then, I'll, I'll do it with you last. Okay. <laughs> well then, guys, well, it looks like that I'm going to have to go home now. So, I'm going to have to bid you farewell, because I'm not going to be here anymore. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid so, um, Chloe. Well, I'm going to bid you. Farewell, my lucky. Thank you, Arthur. I'll miss you when I get to go. When I cry. Now, so, I'll give you a And goodbye, Grandad. Well, I'm gonna miss you, Grandson, Grandad. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too, Arthur. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, goodbye. Oh, and I won't forget you. Oh, have you still got your copies of Fever, you two? Yeah, I still have. Oh, good job. Well, and bye-bye, Arthur. I'm not going to forget you. Would you like a, a packet of um, sugar-free marshmallows? Yes, please. Oh, Alright, I'll go and get it for you, so that you can take that home with you. Right, let's just check the date first. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's what fine Arthur. So you can take that one with you. Yeah, what when you go on? Ah, oh, thank you, George. Well, I could do with some marshmallows right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, well then, George. Well, I take that's it then. Well, I may never see you again, because it'll be a big farewell to you, old friend. Yeah, bye bye, old friend. Yeah, but at least I won't have any trouble with you stabbing me in the bush again. Farewell, old friend. Right, alright then guys, well, it looks like Arthur's gone home with his mummy and daddy now. Oh, I can't miss Artie boy. Well, I know you're gonna miss some Artie boy, Chloe, <laughs> as you always call him. Uh, and I know you don't mind if um, Arthur's gone home, uh, whatever. Yeah, I guess so. Well, at least he won't be any, any trouble of slapping you in the bush. <laughs> Even Mickey would do that. Yeah, tell me about it. He always does that That's after Minky. Oh, no. Anyways, are we still under a cartoon called The Herbert Bunch? Yes, Herbert, I believe we are. You can see, you've never seen this cartoon yet, have you? No. Well, I know I did say that I'm a bit too old for cartoons, but I still like cartoons to die. I? Is that a fox? And is that the big gorilla? Uh, it's not Minky though, is it? No, because we already got Minky, the old monkey here. <laughs> oh, let's take the best of the world! Look at that bad old man, George! Who's that? Ah, that's the zookeeper in the mirror. Oh, what, you mean in a squiggly, squiggly sort of fashion? Hey, Chloe, look! Gee! Gee! Oh, that's a cute little gee! Oh, I guess I might get a cat too! <laughs> Thank you, George. Oh, you're welcome, Chloe. Well, I know you find it very hard for your arty boy to be gone, but he's got his own parents now. Oh, yeah, so why has he got his parents with him? Ah, because you see, well, we haven't even, I haven't even seen saw his parents before! Oh, has he not? No, I don't think he has. Well, neither have I. Oh. Woo! What are those um, hair bunch are up to? <coughs> uh, I think they were just peeping out of window so they could pretend that they look like the doctors or the decorators. Woo! <coughs> <laughs> oh, covered up his creek face! Oh, and he's also covered up his pots! <laughs> well, is it just to pretend that the keeper is ill? Uh, yes, Chloe, I believe so. I have to. Huh, that is good you didn't call me George Bigston, as you were when you were an old lady. Oh, yeah, that's very true. Oh, I love you, George. I'll give you a kiss. Oh, go on, Chloe, kiss me. Oh, well, I'm crying Chloe Rack who likes me. Yeah, much better than Arthur. Hey! Don't say that! I'm going to kick you. Oh! Ouch! You're a naughty boy. Well, sorry, Chloe. But I didn't mean to be a naughty boy. Hey, hey, Chloe, look! <laughs> Gee, I think he's so good to be a tea! <laughs> couple of days later... Well then, guys, well, it's been a couple of days now well, since Arthur's gone, and we're still onto this cartoon here. Woo! So, so what's the best cooking today? Well, I think the bears are cooking some pizza. In fact, triple decker pizzas. Woo! That sounds exciting! <gasps> Yikes! Look at the food! <gasps> oh, uh, are you alright, Chloe? Yeah, I'm alright, George. Yeah, but I'm a bit scared of that big keeper. Oh. Well, I'm glad you're alright. But at least you didn't cry this time. Well done. Yeah, well done, Chloe. Well done. Oh, you're so lovely, Chloe. Alright, now, do you want me to put you onto the bed, onto the chair now? 
Yes, please. Oh, all right then. I'll grab you. Beep, 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 beep. beep. <laughs> okay, Dobby. I'm on you now. Oh, well done, Chloe. I so I get to the pollution. What? This is just a hoover. Big nose. Let's be like a bug now. Almost. Let's be like a bug. A terrible sort. Oh dear me. Well, oh, that was funny, isn't it, George? Yeah, that was very funny. Even George. Well, I think we're still going on a cartoon. Yeah, that's right. We're still going strong. Oh, and I think they're planning to get back to get back the keeper. Ooh. Oh god. Oh look, who's oh, that assistant there? I don't know, but that one looks like a big fat guy. <laughs> it looks a bit like you, know, bro. Boy, get out of it. Oh, it's raining! Well, I'm going to sing! It's raining, it's boring, the old man is snoring! A bit like John Paxson did! Oi! I had that! Oi! He came up to set and he couldn't get up in the morning! <laughs> oh, that's a bit funny, I think! Well, you may think it is funny, but it's not! Cut that out! Oi! Oh, George, what's that for? Well, oh, that's what you get for saying terribly and call me an old man. <sighs> Sorry, George. Hello, little buddy. I'm Bossy. I'm glad to hear the new movie. Woo, exciting. Woo, and I can scare somebody. did not pull you down. It might have been somebody. Oh, all right, I better get back up. Here you go. Oh, all right, well, I hope no one's going to give up to me again. <laughs> oh, that's scared the hell out of them. <laughs> Here we go. Tickle, 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 Right, it's alright, Chloe, but I set up a trap, trap for you, so come on. 
Woo! So what's he put? Some smarties on. Oh, well done, George. You have to make a, a red trap for a mouse. <laughs> okay, now I'll pass what this time. See ya. Alright then. Hey, Mousy, look what k has got for you. Woo! Oh, what did it do? If you come over to the bar, so you'll see what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Woo! So let's see, we've got some Smarties. Woo! I've got to pick one up. Oh, all right, cry. Run away. Oi! Oh! 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 So, all right, Chloe, there's no need to be afraid of a mouse. Uh, and besides, Simon Bodger has already discovered it in Bodger and Badger the movie. And hopefully, you will be too. Oh, but if you let the mouse be out, oh, I'm so scared. Ah, oh, sorry, right, Chloe. Now, do you want me to do that for you? Mm. Yeah, please. Oh, all right. All right, Mousy, uh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right, George. Can you get me out? Oh, because of a so much set up a mouse trap. Oh. It's all right, Mousy. I'll get you out. Oh, thank you, George. Beep, 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 beep. Are you all right, Mousy? Yeah, I'm all right, George. Oh! That raccoon has just given me a mouse trap. Ah, so that's Crow Rack. Uh, so is that someone who did that? Ah, uh, yeah. I went to look into the movie. Oh, okay. So, I guess that Crow Rack wants to be my friend. Uh, yeah, Mousy. But because you see, when Crow Rack doesn't like that, mm, and I think she'll get used to the mouse now. Yeah, I guess so. Just like a bodger about to the movie, yeah? Yeah, just like a bodger about to the movie. Alright, I want you to introduce you to her. Oh, very well. Alright, Clay. Now, are you going to be alright meeting a mouse now? Uh, I hope so, George. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, it's alright, Clay. No need to be scared. I'm here for you. Come on, just shake our mousey's hand. Oh, very well. Oh, come on, Darcy. Come and meet me. Oh, all right, oh, Chloe, sorry. <laughs> hello, Chloe. Oh, hello. Oh, my Chloe. I'm Mousy. Oh, and I'm Chloe Raccoon. Woo! That's a lovely name for a raccoon. Woo! Nice to meet you, Mom. Yeah. Nice to meet you, um, Mouse. Yeah, I guess so. So, uh, I heard that you don't like rats. Do you know the reason why? It's because rats are so ugly. Thank you! I'm ugly! I'm dead! I'm going to throw you away! I'm get, get, get. Oh. And I'm going to do it again! Oh. I'll get you, you horrible mouse! I'll get you, Mousy! Uh, Mousy, I think no hair bears behind you! Ooh. Ooh. Hello, Dermot! Oh, hello, Mousy! Oh, guess what I just did to Chloe Raku? What? I'm first met her, and she's not afraid of mouses anymore. Ooh! She's not afraid of mouse. Ooh! Well, good for you, Chloe. Thank you, Derba. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, Mousy, come and see me now. Oh, okay, Derba. I'll be with you in two minutes. Well, Derba. Well, it's just you and me again. Oh, yeah, that's right, Mousy. Yep, yeah, see, I think it's George and Arthur the movie. Did George tell you? Yep, he sure did. Oh, right. I see. <coughs> oh, oh, so did you see Arthur just coming down with his parents just now? No. Well, but I only remember is when Arthur's parents is kidnapping Arthur so that he could be killed, so that he could get the um, stomach bits out, and then, <gasps> then he'll get sent to the forest. <gasps> forest? Oh no! What is 
top up to call him awkward somehow. Yeah, I suppose we have to. Uh, are you all right, Chloe? Um, did Mousy throw you? Oh, <coughs> yeah, I'm all right, George. Oh, fuck you, little mouse. Oh. Well, well done, Chloe. Well, I'm glad you like Mousy now. And I'm glad you've changed now. Yeah, that's throughout all the specials ever since we started. Yeah. All right, and Chloe, now, shall we tell him with a cartoon now? Yes, please. Oh, all right. Yeah, you sit here. Okay. Oh. All right. Hey, well, I'll press play for you so that you can get started with. Okay, please, the box. <sighs> all right, and Chloe. Now, enjoy the cartoon, uh, Chloe. Okay. Hey, look at this, Chloe. Now, see? Now we got four best. Woo! Four bears? Why am I so good at these four bears? Ah, what could you see? That bear disguised as comes from a keeper. Oh, was that what it is? Ah, uh, yes, Chloe, I believe it was. Oh. I don't think that we can do the worst. Tee hee! And I think that's the other two keepers. Whee! Right, right, here we go. Now, they're back at Wonderland Zoo. Oh! Wonderland Zoo? Is that the place where where sea rabbits live? Yes, Claire, I believe they do. Oh! Oh, the keepers is a good fellow. Woohoo! And, and anyway, Claire, right, we're nearly at the end of this cartoon now. Oh, okay, George. Oh, there's even bears are back at work again! Oh, it's good to be a zookeeper, isn't it, George? Yeah, of course it's good to be a zookeeper. Oh, is that the next cartoon? Oh, uh, we're not going to see it anymore, are we? No, of course we're not. And besides, we're not going to be watching any more, but we can watch the intro. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, Huey! Hey, I've got some bad news for you! Oh, alright, come on here, man. Oh, I don't... Bring your old friend with you! Oh, okay, okay! Right, we'll be with your two ticks! Right, come on, Mousy! Right, let's go! Holy! Oh! Alright, then, Chloe. Oh, you never guess what happened to your husband! Oh! Well, a little mouse told me that Arthur's been kidnapped by his parents. You know, they are not parents, they're enemies! Oh, what? Stay here. Um, actually, George, well, since it's the office kidnapped, I think I'll have to go with you. Oh, alright then, Chloe. Yeah, but that means we'll have to go outside into the garden so we can rescue Arthur. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, for Arthur, however, I wonder how he's getting on. Right then, son, here we are. So, we are going to be going home in the summer house. Woo! Is that where I live, Dad? Yes, son, I believe we are. Ooh, how that's exciting! 
And this is my long lost parents, everybody. <sighs> yeah, I agree. <sighs> well, shit it, yes. Yeah, ouch. Right, okay, you two brothers. Right, here he is. This is Arthur. Here you are. Oh, I wonder who's that little fellow. Hmm, this must have scorpies of cream. Hmm, hmm, let's have a little here. Yep, the heart is beating. Hmm, let's let him, let him lie down. Hmm, I see there's the nose. Hmm, and I wonder if that polar bear speaks. Hmm, I'm going to give it a little tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> Oi, get off me! Get off, get off! I? Hang on, is that one of the they're talking bears? Hmm. Very interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I'll ask it, uh, yellow. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Boyan. Uh, uh, yes? Or uh, what do we should do with um, t the bears that talk? Well, we're going to kill him to death. Ooh, that sounds like an excellent plan, Mr. Boyan. Um, uh, at this time, I won't be able to have this bear for my talking bear collection. Talking bear collection? Yes. Ah, is that the one you want? Just for this bear? Yes. Ah, oh, I see. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, how about we just kill the bear first? Yeah, good idea. Hey, Arthur, wake up. Right, I'm going to give you a little bang. Ow! Oh, oh God! Yeah, who hurt my head? Hang on, did I recognise those two? Uh huh? Who are you two? Well, I am Brian, and this is my brother, um... Uh, this is my brother, um... Mr. Wolfgang Death. I... Wolfgang Death? <laughs> Hang on! Are you two being the first one going to kidnap me? Uh, yeah, I'm afraid so, because I think we would like to kill you, because you're the very rare talking person. I... You're not going to kill me! I'm out of here! <laughs> Come back here! Yeah, right now! Hey! Get, get off me! No! No, Dad! What are you doing? Right, we're going to kill you, right, and we're going to eat you like zombies! Ah! Oh, get Get off me! Get off! You got me out of here! Not like go! Get off! No! Not until you're dead! Mr. Boy Poo, Boy Poo, don't call me that again. Well, you are, huh? Just like Wolfgang Blood, Wolfgang Blood, get over here. And it's because you two are both cross angry little men. Angry little man. Angry little man. How dare you? Right, that is Bernard. Right, we're gonna throw you over to the grass so that you can get yourself hurt! Right, come on! Get down! Get down! Help me, parents! Help me! Oh, sorry, Arthur, but I'm afraid I'm on the first side now. Yeah, same here. What? You told me something is up! No! No! Oh! Well, we got you! Oh my god, what do you? We are Help me, guys! Help me, Granddad! Help me, Chloe! Help! No! There's nobody to help you! Is there? Nope, there sure isn't. Right, and we're going to drag him across. Yeah, good idea. Right, come on, Arthur, you're coming with me. Uh, 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 Yes, no, but oh, where's all that shouting coming from? Uh, that will be coming from the summer house over there, no, but, Oh, well, if you look over there, you'll see what I mean. Oh, I... <gasps> oh so I see. Oh, <gasps> my God, so it's good, Bob. Oh, we're going to go rescue him. All right, OK. Right, you have to look at me for once. Yeah, you need to look at me. Oh, all right, 
goddammit, so what are we going to do? Well, we need to rescue Arthur, but first of all, we need to fight off the evil fiends. Oh, okay then. Right, let's go now. Yeah, come on then, Chloe. Right, hop on to me if you want to. Okay. Woo! Right, okay. What then, Chloe? Are you ready to rescue um, your husband? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm so worried. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, because we're going to rescue him. Right, away we go! Right, anyway, to the music base, must we must we put the bridge ready music on? Right, here we go! Well then, Clyde, what do you think? We are superheroes! Yeah, that was bad, but we are heroes! Yeah, tell me about it! <gasps> That's hard! We can go in! Oh, I'll tell you this. Wait! Oh! Help me, guys! Help! Please rescue me! Oh, sorry, Arthur. Me and Roy are here now. Right, I'll rescue you first. Roy! Oh! Right, sorry, Arthur. I got you. Right, I'll throw just two things away. Right, start with the other first. Uh, I, uh, you, uh, oh! And now it's your turn, Mr. Blue. Oh! Oh! Right, thank you, Toad. Let go, Arthur! No, we won't, you stupid, ugly b- Right, that is it. I'm going to fight you back. And I'm going to fight you back. Right, all right then, Clyde. You reply. Right, rescue your husband, and I will defeat those villains. Oh, okay then. My heart is good. It's all right, Arthur. I know now. Let me just tell you for what those two naughty things did to you. <gasps> <laughs> Ah, well then, Chloe, you saved me from terrible danger of those two felons. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Arthur. Yeah, I'd better be to rescue you, because you're my darling, but don't run away from me again. Ah, oh, thank you, Chloe. Hi, that Arthur. Yeah? Oh, uh, guess who I've got as my new friend? What? It's Mousy, my new friend. Your new friend? What? Mousy? Who's Mousy? Well, Mousy is not Heather's old friend, and she's my new friend. Ah, well I thought you didn't like mouses. Well, I know I don't normally get a pass, but I do now. Oh, alright, right, bring her there, Ben. Okay. Hey, Mousy! Come with me to the Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, good night, Clay. Oi! Hello. Uh, what's your name? Uh, I'm Arthur. Woo! Arthur! Woo! Well, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Oh, then don't worry. Well, George wants me to be in a program because I'm a heroine. Ah, oh, so you're the heroine, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, this is a Chloe Cracker. You see, Chloe and I are best friends. Oh, I'm glad you are, Mousy. And I promise I will never hurt you again. Yeah, thank you. Well, can I go fight from the head there now? Yeah, good idea, but be careful. I will. Well, see the business. Okay, no, that's fine. I'm gonna have to fight with you. Oh, oh god. Hold on to my back. Okay, cool. Okay, to do that, so what are we going to do now? Well, we are going to fight these evil villains down there. Woo! Okay, um, should we go to the garden? Oh, yeah, good idea. Right, George, you'll have to carry the things. Oh, alright. Hold on then, you two. Right, I'll throw you two out. Alright! What the Mouse is right, I will defeat the yellow one! And you can defeat the blue one! Oh, okay, fine, right, I'll get you up. Oh! Right, you two things! Let go of Arthur! No, we won't, you stupid, ugly bear! But I'm gonna fight you, man! And I'm gonna fight you back! Right! Dad! Really? Oh! 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 Kick you! Ah! Oh! 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 Yellow! Ouch! What the you horrible what? Right, I'm going to do karate! Hiya! Oh! Hiya! Oh! Ow! Ow! Oh! No! 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 Woo! I didn't know her! Well, I had to do karate! Go! 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 Go on, defeat the spinners! Thank you, Mousy. Right, now let's go and finish the blue one off! Hey ya! Ouch! 
Woo! Who did that? Ah, uh, that'll be the blue thing. Oh! Oh, go on, go on, that's the blue Oh, good! And now to finish you off. Oh, don't do the bonus to read a bit. Oh yeah, we're fine. Mm, bit heavy, but that's right. I'll we'll try to step. Hold on, keep the up. Alright. Oh, 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 Oh. oh! Oh God! Oh! That makes me so angry! Right, and I'm going to make you happy! Fail to my do! Right, you, Mr. Bat, come here! No! I am not coming over to you! Right, I'm going to hurt you again! Right, I'm going to throw you over! Oh! Right, alright, I'll try it again! Ah! Oh! What a no to get you! Right, sorry, Marcy. Right, you stay here. Uh, and I'll just take care of the rest. Okay. Right, here we go. Oh, but, oh, right, don't you eat, Philip. Right, look at the bonus. Please, like you. You, take this. Whew. Right, here we go. Oh, oh, what the... Oh, mud and legs. Oh, you tiny creature. Right, and I'm going to do it again. Here you go, you filthy animal. Oi! Oh. 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 Ah. <coughs> you What? Good to throw you over the No, you come here! Why are I? Good, good God! What the you horrible bear? I'm going to oh, make you so to do I throw you over to the summer house now! <gasps> No! You stupid brother of mine! How could you hurt that old poor bear here? Well, that's because I just brought him over to the old shed. No, yeah, because it was the only way to get him deaf. Now, anyway, let's cut him open! So we can take the old body parts out. <gasps> no, you two! You're not going to make his death work just by cutting him off, man! Yep, I'm afraid we have to. It's the only way just to get him dead for good! Right, come on, right, yellow. Let's go over to the bear. <laughs> no, you don't, you two! Get back here! Get back! Oh. Right then, Yellow, yeah, we are going to make his death worse by cutting him open. What, so we can make him dead and go up in heaven? Yes, now let's go and get him out and take the body. Huh? Hang on, stop the police. Oh no, not the police. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, man? Up George? Uh, uh, yes, police officer. Oh, what's going on? Uh, I think those two villains over here are trying to kill that endangered spare here. Oh, oh, that's a bit naughty of those two, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so I want you to, I want you to arrest these two troublemakers here. Oh, okay, very well. Right then, you two. I heard that you just tried to kill that bear. And uh, it's a good thing you haven't got fluent knife. I, I hope you're not using the stick. No, we're not using the stick, officer. Well, we're just trying to take that stiff body out. Oh, well, that is not a very nice exception. Because killing a bear, it's against the law. It's because it's all part of a bear in the danger. But, 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 but it's the only way just to get no hair bear to be dead. Well, that is not a very good excuse. Right then, George, can you help me with this? Oh, yeah, with pleasure, Minky. <coughs> right, come on, you two, go with Minky. Oi! Oi! Right, 
Now you two, right, you two are hereby arrest you for killing a bastard or against the law tomorrow. So come on then. Hey, come on, mate. Just because we're really just trying to kill the bat. Oh, I'll get you, George. And I'll get off at the smelly old bear. No one runs down my gun. And not even if it's the best friend of Chloe here. So good friends to you. All right, I better go and check on my granddad. Uh, granddad? Uh, oh no. I don't. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> no, granddad. We don't die. Oh, I don't want to see you die. Please wake up. Oh. <laughs> Can you come and get Chloe? Oh, alright. I'll go and get Chloe. Hey, Chloe? Yes? Uh, I think Arthur needs you because, you see, I think, I'm afraid, no headbutt has been killed because I think the two fellas just threw him on the summer show and it makes him feel hurt. <gasps> oh! I didn't even help him! Oh, alright then. Oh, don't worry, Chloe. I I'll rescue you. I'll carry your little friend. Oh, good. Come on, let's go! <laughs> Oh, where is she? Uh, I think it's just over there. Oh, okay. Right, I'm going to go and help. Well, oh, she's going to help us. Yippee! 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 My granddad's dead. Because I've come a long way ever since I first started to say, Yeah, and stay with me when I start. <laughs> hey, now say. Yes? Uh, I think you might want to find him something to get him wake up again. Uh, try looking for a flower. Uh, that will help him. Okay. Should have been <laughs> Well then, Mousy. Well, we're gonna look for something for the headbutt to wake up with somehow. Yeah, I suppose we'll have to. But what? Uh, maybe we'll try the recyclables and, and that should get no headbutt to wake up. Okay. Well done, Nancy. Now, we could drop it over to no hair bed. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got about my way. Hold on. Yeah, alright, Nancy. Alright, Arthur. 
It's okay. It's alright. I'm alive now, with the help of Mousy. Oh, I missed you, Granddad. Yeah, I missed you too, Grandson. And I'm sorry if I had to run away. It's because my parents need me. Ah, that's alright. You got me as your real parent. I'm your grandparents. Oh, that's good. Because I think those two <laughs> are in their jail. Yeah, don't worry. I'm sure they're in jail. Uh, aren't they good? Yeah, of course they are, they're bad. Yeah, they sure are. Oh, that's good. Alright then, Craig, do you want a hug? Oh, come on, Jim. Let's both have a hug together. Come on. Yeah, I miss you. Oh, it's alright, guys. I'm okay now. Don't worry. I think the Pepsi Max has just killed me with the help of Mousy. Aren't you, didn't you, Mousy? Yep, I sure did, Arthur. And it's all thanks to me. Well, with the help of George Buxton and all that. Yeah, I guess so. And it's alright, guys. Yeah, I'm still fine. No, it's just because of a shield. Right, uh, you can get off now, you two. It's alright guys, I'm alive now. Oh, and of course, I still got my big bear belly. Yeah, because that was when my daughter's mum had to stuff me. Oh, and I also remember from when I had a tour at George's old house at that time with Arthur in it. Oh, did he? Yep, he sure did. And because of my bad belly that mum has just given me, well, it worked a treat. Hmm, alright then, George, should we head back to the bedroom? Ah, uh, yeah, good idea. Oh, and as for you, Arthur, do you want to see Rob and tell him about all your adventures? Yeah? Yes, please. Oh, all right, Alpha. Right. You go, you go over ahead now. Okay. Right. Okay, then, Chloe. Right. Let's head back. Oh, okay. I won't be carried. Oh. oh, all right. Right. I suppose I'll carry the bed. Just until we're ready to go back. Yeah. Right. Here we go. It's all right, Chloe. You're alive now. Don't worry about me. Oh, thank you, Dad. Boy, you're my hero. Yeah, I'm glad you're the hero of me. Alright, now, should I put you over to the bench? Yes, please. Oh, okie dokie, then. Come on, let's go back. Right, it's alright, Arthur. Right, I put the toys back into the bedroom now. Oh, and you might want to say hello to him. Oh, and tell him for what you got up to when you're at my old house. Very well. <laughs> oh. oh, hello. Hello, Arthur. Oh, I'm back! How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, guess what I just did uh, over at George's old house. What have you been doing? Well, I just had a tour around George's old house because it's part of George and Arthur, oh, the movie. Oh, cool. Yeah, but that's why I'm a star. Well, oh. Chloe Bat is a star, obviously. Well, let's give it you again. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, uh, how's your supporting thing on George Buxton? Oh, oh. I only asked uh, George Stan the same thing. And guess what the... This guy called him. He called him a right pain in the bottom. The original of it, too. Yeah, and he wouldn't be wrong either. No, I guess he wouldn't <laughs> be wrong because you are a pain. Oi, Arthur, I have got a pain in the bottom. Cut it out. Sorry. Oh, and just tell him for what you just um, saw. Very well. Well then, Rob, may I tell you about my best bit? Well, no, you haven't, no. Well, my best bit, um, is that my mum and dad's better because, you see, the that was the very place when I got left cold and alone. And George showed me that as well. Oh, right. Yeah, and, and can you guess who, who brought me in? Mum and dad, obviously. As yeah. I already told him that. Well, there you go. Well, it was an ex excellent adventure. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh, and also, I've had a look round the garden. Well, I know it's very small, but it's big enough for George for Liv to live him with. Oh, oh yeah. And of course, I know that garden over there is much bigger than a small one that George has got. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit bigger here. Yeah. yeah, tell me about it. Uh, luckily, George's old garden hasn't got a pond or anything, which was lucky. Yeah. Alright, uh, are you in the middle of something? What? Yeah, so I'm in the middle of trying to get tea ready and stuff ready for later on. Ooh, uh, what tea is it tonight, uh, by the way? It's... 
Tuna pasta fake. Ooh, tuna pasta fake. Well, that sounds nice. Well, uh, I'm not going to fight it for that because, I mean, this is just the daughter and half of the movie here. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm a bit thirsty, though. Uh, I'll just go and get myself a drink with George yourself. Right, oh, and I'll leave you to it, and so you can enjoy it. I'll see you later. Right, bye-bye. Ah! See you later, dude. Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye. All right, now, let's go and help myself to a drink. That's all right, Arthur. I got it. Hey, there, Arthur. Thank you. Right, let's go back up. Bye bye, Robbie boy! See you later, mate! Well, then, George, that's two people that I've met in this movie! Now, yeah, that's right, Arthur. Oh, and of course, you didn't tell him about the uh, fill a bit, did you? No. Yeah, don't worry, Arthur. Well done for not telling him. Yeah, thank you. Right, I'll go back to the lads now. Right, it's alright, viewers. Right, I think no heifers now alive now. Uh, oh, and uh, don't, don't worry about Arthur and Chloe. Well, they do miss their bear. A bit. Especially Arthur, who missed his granddad a lot. Alright. Alright, then. And I'll leave you with the other bears. Oh, yeah. And Mousy. Just join them. Hey, you four. Come over here, please. Oh, okay. Come here. Yeah. Oi. Oh. Ooh. Right then, Mousy. You're done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Woo. Good job, Mousy. Thank you, Chloe. Well, God's a kiss. Ugh, dirty creature. Oh, but I like you. Oh, I'll give you a little stroke. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Excuse me, my ears. Ah! Oh, 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 you're so cute. I'm going to tickle him. Tee, tee, tee. Oh, you get off me, Chloe. Tee, tee. Oh, you're going to be my new company from now on. When I am an old lady. Yeah, I guess so, Chloe. I love you. Oh, thank you. <sighs> yeah, what do you think, Chloe? Do you like Marcy now? Yep, I sure like him now, don't I? I'm used to him now. Yeah, well Doc. Oh, uh, he's a she, by the way. Not a he. Oh, sorry, Doc. Oh, that's all right. And what about you? Well, we be both be through the bill from all these years, haven't we? Yeah, of course we are. I love you, Granddad. Yeah, I love you too, my grandson. Yeah, of course you are. All right, then, right, I'll leave you to it then. So I bet you can have some kissy kiss with ugh, your wife. All right. Okie dokie. Oh well. But right, I'm gonna say goodbye now. <sighs> bye bye, viewers. See you soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Well then, Chloe. Boy, well, it's great to have that Mousy is your new friend now. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right, Arthur. Yeah, sure it is. Boy, you deserve a kiss. Come here. No, you come in. Oh, and you might want to put Mousy down, though. Okay, come on, Mousy. Right, I'll just take you home. Oh, gosh. See you later. Bye. Oh. See you later. Okay, then, oh, Arthur. Boys, you get a big, big bottle of this, guys. This is very good. Ah, <laughs> you're nice to take me, my baby. Yeah. Get off me, you cheeky thing. <laughs> Ay, now you're taking all my outfits. Get off! <laughs> wow. That feels good, isn't it, my lovely darling? Yeah, of course it is. Um, so I see you've got a drink. Oh, what kind of a drink? Uh, it's cream soda, my lovely. <laughs> oh. All right, well, I'll get you a drink. Uh, George, can you pass me a drink? Uh, oh, yeah, sure thing. Uh, I'll go get it. Right, it's all right, Arthur. I got a drink. Now, do you want to have a drink first? Yeah, please. Oh, all right. Right, you have a first sip, then. <laughs> 
Oh, all right then. Okay, I'm going to enjoy that. Woohoo! Here we go. Ah, delicious. Just to celebrate the victory of those two villains who are now in jail. Woohoo! Hmm, and speaking of which, uh, viewers, hmm, all right then, Mr. Narrator. Uh, y yes, sir. Uh, what's happened to the villains? Ah, now that is a very good question, Bob Arthur. Right, uh, you just get Chloe back into drink first, and, and then I will finish off the film with an array. Okay. All right, my lovely. I'll leave you so you can enjoy your drink. Okay. Right, I'm going to tickle you first. Tee, tee, tee. Oh. All right, then. Right, I'll leave you to it then. My lovely. Noses. <laughs> All right, then. Well, well bye bye, viewers. See you hopefully soon. Yeah. We'll have a drink. Oh. All right, here you go. Ah, delicious. Okay, well, uh, come back now, please. Oh, all right, Chloe. Uh, I guess we'll go into bed now. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's a bit tired. Well, it's all right, oh, Chloe. I'll help you into bed now. All right, Arthur, your turn. All right. Oh. All right, you two. Well, good night. And same to you, Chloe. Thanks, George. Yeah, thank you. Good night. Oh, excuse me. Yeah? Would you like to tell the fears about the question? Oh, yeah. Poor thing. Don't just... Okay. Ah. So there you go, viewers. That's the end of Georgia and Arthur, the movie now. Alright, and the question is on everyone's mind. What about the villains? And are they in jail now? Well, let's go over to the police station well, and then, find out you all about it. You stupid of mine! We're a child! Oh, just because your plan is stupid! And I'll blow you! I'm going to throw you around! Ow! Ah! Oh! That's it, I'm getting out of here. Hey, uh, good back in jail, you. Oh. Well, I don't know Oh, it looks like that I'm in jail now. It's just because of, um... The hero of the best. Yeah, go ahead and hurt me. See if I can. Cheer up, Wolfgang. You know what they say. Oh, what if I say, uh, Henry? I am not interested. Ha! Some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Other things just make you sore the prayers, licking their chops. When you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble, give a whistle, and this'll help things turn out for the best. And always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the light side of life. If life's jolly rotten, there's something you forgot. And that's to laugh and smile and dance and sing, in which you should be. When you're mm, feeling well, in the jobs, don't be silly chumps. Just push your lips and whistle. That's the thing. And always look on the bright side of life. Come on! No. Always look on the right side of life. For life is quite absurd, and death's the final word. You must always face the curtain with a bow. Forget about your sin, give the audience a grin. Enjoy it, it's your last chance anyhow. So always look on the bright side of MASH. Oi! Just before bears became extinct. Life's a piece of mash when you look at it. 
And life's a laugh and death a joke is true You'll see us all a show Keep on laughing as you go But remember that the last laugh is on you And always, always look on look the bright side of life, life. <clears throat> Always we've got the right side of life. Come on, Wolf Gang, cheer up! Always we've got the right side of life. Always we've got the right side of life. Worst face happen to see, you know. Always we've got the right side of life. I mean, what have you got to lose? You know you come from nothing, and you're going back to nothing. What have you lost? Oh, nothing. Nothing! Nothing will come from nothing. You never face say, come on, cheer up, you silly old fool. Come on, give me a grin. There you go. See? It's the end of George and Arthur, the movie now. Now, if you want to check out all these other series from George and Arthur, make sure you look for that on YouTube. And if you want to check out the uh, George and the Hairbird things, Look for that as well. Oh, and it's also got George's Special Channel in it, which is a great channel, and it has been around since two years' time. And don't forget all about the uh, George's Special Channel, and never to do what's going to happen. Oh yes, and look out for other programs as well. Well, farewell, everyone. Farewell. Epilogue. Well, from Henry, well, how are we going to get out of jail? Uh, I don't know yet, Duck Jane, dear. Uh, I'm sure the police officer will come, and hopefully he'll let us know. Hey, police officer! <gasps> yes? Uh, well, me and Jane haven't done anything wrong. It was just the villains that did it, though. Oh, really? So, you two haven't done anything wrong, have you? Uh, no, because you see, Arthur was our son. Oh, well, in that case... Alright then, you two bears. Hmm, you horrible lot. Right, you two are free to go. Except the villains. What? Officer, how could you take those two bears out and you're not? Ah, well, because you two were very naughty. But these people, however, were good. Oh, well, we think good too. Yeah, me too. Well, you're not. Right, you. Right, I'm going to put you back into the box. Shut up, you. Ow! Oh yeah, sorry about that, uh, lad, and uh, lad did. Right, I'll pull you out first up, Jane. Oh, thank you, officer. Ooh. Yeah, you're welcome. Right, and now it's your turn, Henry. Ah, thank you, officer. Yeah, I needed that. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, next time, I'll let you off this time, so don't do it again. Okay? Alright, officer. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Right, and as for you two fellas, right, you stick together. Oi! Right, now I'm going to throw you away. Right, I'm going to push it away. Ugh. Oh, you're going to leave us like that? Yup, I'm afraid I have to. All right, then. Well, bye-bye. <laughs> well, then, uh, Jane, so... What do you think we should do now? I mean, we are the parents, but we haven't got our son now. Oh, uh, should we look out the window? Yeah, good idea. Come on then. Let's go then. Okie dokie. Right, come on then. <laughs> right, it's alright you two, a lovely couple. I'll move the stuff out of the way for you. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, alright then, uh, Jane. You first. Oh. Okay, Henry. Come and look up with me. Alright. Ooh. <coughs> well then, Jane. <coughs> look at the sky outside. Yeah, looks very lovely. Oh, I love you, Henry. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it sure is lovely. Alright then. Right, I'll just I'll close the windows now, guys. Alright then, you two. Right, you can get out of the door now. Alright. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Right, I'll let you two out. <laughs> hey, I'll open the door for you. 
<coughs> okay then, George. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Right, I'll let you too. All right then. Well, bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. Well, bye bye everyone. Bye bye. Right, and and we ha and I hope you enjoyed this the spectacular movie. And of course, I will be back in another brand new program. And this time it's going to be a mini series called The No Hair and Co. So I'll see you as the support worker. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.